Okay. Well, there has been a drop in sales. Has this drop in sales affected bakers up and down the country? We're live now to Greenhouse Craft Bakery in Bolton to hear from artisan baker Dave Smart. Morning, Dave. Good morning, Dave. Good morning to you two. Lovely, lovely to talk to you. you. Sorry to, <laughs> sorry to interrupt because I know you're busy. You've lovely got a to lot, talk to you. a lot to make. Um, so, yep. so same question that we asked earlier on. Where do you think bakers have got it wrong? Well, I think the bakers are, uh, are doing an awful lot right. We're going on to more artisan bread, which is the future of this industry. It is actually the old industry before we went on to block yeast and high-speed high, high speed manufacture. The bakers have actually gone back in time and started to produce bread absolutely correctly, which is good for everybody in the end of the day. Well, you, you say artisan bread is making a comeback, and actually the, the, the big major retailers are selling garbage. Well, it is garbage, isn't it? It's white sliced <laughs> loaves. The actual, the actual artisan bread per year is up 10 to 14% because it's real bread. So this is where what we should be looking for. We should be coming to, to guys like you who are going back to basics. Well, it's proper making bread. I mean, this company, Green Ulsters, is nearly 60 years old. So we've been artisan for the last 60 years. Yeah. So we're not actually going back. We're taking it even more forward. The trouble is also, I've noticed when I make my bread at home in the bread maker, um, as opposed to the stuff you buy in the supermarkets, the supermarket bread lasts a lot longer. How long yeah. will your artisan bread last for? Uh, around, around about, well, I, I hopefully it doesn't last long because you're going to eat it. But around about maybe three days, four days. But anything else, you're going to have to start putting the funnies into it, which we don't do. This door the here that you can see here has only got four ingredients. Flour, water, salt and sourdough. This takes nearly 24 hours to make. It proves up in the fridge for 18 hours, which generates all that acidity that Dan was talking about and flavour. But isn't your bread very, very expensive? No, it's not expensive. It's about the right price, and hopefully I can get some more for it. For, for our, our normal, what I call artisan bread, it's about £2.60. And it's the most popular bread we ever make. So what does that tell you? Well, it tells like me you need to send some down here, please, on the double. Well, you've got some really good bakers down there as well, but the most important thing is if, if, the, if the public in general actually go and buy their bread mm. from an artisan baker and not the retail multiple who absolutely makes a hash of making <laughs> bread. Get into your local baker and support your local baker who supports bakers and also trains bakers for the future. Thank you. Love you are him. amazing. I love you. You'll be back. Do you we'll make, see you again. Do you, do you make garlic bread? <laughs> Any time you want, you know where I am. <laughs> Green Elches of Bolton. <laughs> Thank, thank you, you very much indeed. Right. Lovely to see you. And thank you very yes, much as well. Thank a pleasure. You. Absolutely. Nice and exciting. That's great. And you're not going to take these away, will you? No, definitely. No, 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 we're going to work our way through those. 